We in focus. All right. So let's talk about the intention of this, okay? The intention. <laughs> the intention of this meditation is to release all worries, okay? It is to release all worries. Why my cats keep walking through my videos? It is to release all worries, okay? Now, the reason why I want you to release your worries is because your worries, because we are in Mercury retrograde, your worries are getting stronger because you keep feeding it more information. Your worries are getting stronger because you keep thinking about it, because you keep feeding it, because you keep entertaining it. I want to teach you something. Whatever it is that is worrying you, you have to release. In Mercury retrograde, we gotta release all these things because let me tell you something. Some of y'all think, some of y'all think Mercury retrograde is terrible. Mercury retrograde is terrible. Not realizing that Mercury retrograde is your best friend. The problem is, do you know where that other stick is at? Oh, thank you. The problem is that you're so afraid of the things you've been hiding. Y'all share this live. Let me say that one more time. The reason why people don't like Mercury retrograde is because they are afraid of the very things that they've been hiding deep within themselves. So Mercury retrograde pulls that up out of you. So today's the day that we release all worries, release all doubts, release all negative energy and all negative thoughts. that I want you to do is unclench your jaw. Did you know your body can carry the tension that you think about? So when I say unclench your jaw, it's because you're holding tension. When I tell you to relax your shoulders and straighten your spine, it's because it holds tension. The problem is, is that if you do not release this tension, it can cause issues in the body. You have to understand that everything is connected. Everything is connected. So when you have a negative thought, understand that these thoughts get sent as instructions to your body. When your mind wants to tell you to raise your right arm, the brain sends signals to that right arm to make it lift. So when you understand that the things that you think send signals to your body and can influence your body, those negative thoughts that you're thinking can physically make you ill. You were 
exactly you were manifesting exactly where you want to be right now the only way to get to wherever it is that you want to go is through gratitude you have to stop complaining about what it is that you don't like in your life and pay attention to what you love your attention is like the water to soil and if you continue to give your attention to things that you do not like and that do not make you feel good you will only strengthen it you gotta stop beating yourself up and I don't know why I can feel somebody's emotions Somebody's really been beating themselves up. Somebody's been getting in their way. I don't know who needs to hear this, but stop beating yourself up. It does not serve you. There are two choices that you have. You can choose love or you can choose fear. Take a deep breath and relax. You gotta stop beating yourself up, man. trust but you have to know this is all a part of your story this is all a part of your story how can you inspire people without a testimony
and I'm gonna give you an example. I would not be able to inspire you if it wasn't for me going through the depression that I went through. I would not be able to inspire you if it wasn't for me doing things that were not healthy for myself and finding spirituality. So if you're going through a hard time right now, understand that if you are at a low, what comes after a low is a high. So 
I tell you, you have to imagine. You have to imagine. Your imagination is the key. Your creativity is the key. You have to become a child again. When you were a kid, nothing was impossible. And I want you to know the truth. Hold on, let me get some people about it. And I want you to know the truth. you to be creative I want you to really listen to what I'm telling you society does not want you to be creative because the moment that you spark that creativity with within someone see look y'all got me reading your comments the moment that you spark that creativity inside of you you now have the ability to create your own life to make all your dreams come true. Some of you guys have just told me that y'all quit y'all jobs. This is not the time to be afraid. This is not the time to be scared. This is the time for you to finally fully invest in yourself. It's hard to do this. That's a hard job to have. That career is very hard. Not a lot of people become successful in that. Spiritual laws will always triumph the physical. Your belief will always win. dreams and my goals, the more my bills got paid. Ooh. Let me say that one more time. The more I had faith, the more I believed in myself, the more my bills got paid. Come on. Come on. Because the truth be told is that if you are afraid of your bills not being paid, the truth is that maybe you don't really believe in yourself. Do y'all understand that when you step out on faith, you will never know what's on the other side. But let me tell you something. You always know when something bad is about to happen. But when a miracle happens, is always a pleasant surprise. Mm. Let me tell you something. darkest right before the sun comes up it gets darkest right before the sun comes up
understand that that's what the system wants you to do. The system wants you to think about the bills instead of the dreams, not realizing that the dreams is what will always have your bills paid. Because if you're doing something that is not really truly your dream, it is only temporary. wanted to be artists some of y'all wanted to create cold clothing lines imagine if you would have started that dream the moment you knew that was your dream how far would you be right now some of y'all knew that y'all wanted to be youtubers two years ago how successful would you have been if you started two years ago so why do you keep waiting to you, Deontay. You think God put a dream in you to not fulfill it? allow the system to make you forget what it is that you truly love to do you fail yourself you fail the universe you fail your dream they tell you to be realistic but there's no such thing as reality there are only realms to tell you to be realistic but if you watch the matrix there's no such thing as reality there are only realms why do you think timeline shifting is a real thing why do you think you can quantum leap why do you think that's why do you think that is a thing because there are only realms I want you to know that this is all based on science. You are able to magnetize whatever it is that you want towards you. You are able to attract whatever it is that you want towards you. They don't want you to tap into your magic. They don't want you to know how powerful you really are. They don't want you to know that you can achieve and have whatever it is that you want. Why does dreams, when you go to sleep, feel so real? Because it is. You're just in a different realm. said there's no magic if there's no magic why do they put fear in your heart about it
there was no such thing as failure. What would you do if you knew you would be successful at it? What would you do? Some of you guys have put limits on yourself, limitations. You wanna be a millionaire. But for some reason, you don't think you can make more than six figures. You want to be famous on YouTube, but for some reason, you think that you can only have a thousand subscribers. I want you to dream bigger. Because the moment that you hit that little goal that you set in place, you'll realize how small that goal actually was. Mm. Your goals should intimidate you. Your goals should make you feel a little uncomfortable. How did y'all enjoy that? How did y'all enjoy that? How did y'all enjoy that? Did y'all, did y'all enjoy that? Did y'all enjoy that? Man, listen, I will be putting that on my YouTube. So make sure y'all click the link in the bio. Make sure y'all click the link in the bio and go ahead and go subscribe to my YouTube because I am recording it right here. And this will be on my YouTube. Listen, y'all, I felt so many of my emotions and I felt a lot of y'all emotions. I felt my emotions and I felt your emotions. I definitely felt that a lot of y'all were being way too hard on yourselves. Right? You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I feel like it's important for us to do these things is number one, let me explain to you what I did because I understand science. These sound bowls all issue out frequencies. And if you're not following me on TikTok, please make sure that y'all follow me on TikTok right here, right now. I realized that these sound bowls all issue out a frequency that is able to heal you, right? So now these frequencies are already opening up your frequencies and already starting to rebuild these DNA cycles that is inside of you and also being able to heal you and your, uh, your aura. So that's another thing. A lot of y'all have this aura that has been bruised by other people. A lot of y'all have your aura that has been bruised by other people. When you get in contact with other people who have low frequencies, they can affect your aura. So when we use sound bowls and sound frequencies, what these sound bowls and sound frequencies can do is that they can restore your aura, just like crystals. Everything is about sound, vibrations, frequencies. When I tell you sound, vibrations, and frequencies is the key to everything, you'll learn, man, all I have to do is change the energy and the frequency that I'm in to experience a new life. 
So by me having these frequencies playing and then by me feeding you information that can help you, your subconscious mind is listening to all these things. So this is why I tell people, hey, do you know how beneficial having a crystal? Do you know how beneficial it is to listen to sound bowls? Do you have, do you know how beneficial it is to listen to sulfagio frequencies? Do you understand how beneficial it is to get grounded in nature? Because even the sun, you want to know why the sun is so healing? Frequencies carry information. Vibrations carry information. Your third eye and your pineal gland is what takes all of these frequencies and the information from these frequencies and then create downloads. Your third eye is like an antenna. Your pineal gland is an antenna. This is all backed by science, y'all. This is all backed by science. And I want you to listen to what I'm saying. So when you go outside, understand that the sun carries information through the frequency and the vibration that it radiates to you. This is why sometimes when you go outside, it's like you feel like the sun is like peeking through your skin, especially if it's really hot. You feel like, oh my God, the sun is literally like peeking through my skin. That's because the sun is giving you all this information through the rays. Right? And you have to understand that the sun is able to give you different frequencies that are different colors and each color has its own information. That's why they're all connected to the chakras. That's why you see rainbow when that, when that, when that light hits water, you get different rays and different colors that all have different information. This is why your crystals, when they have different colors, they affect different parts of your body. You want to know why? Because that color is a frequency. Come on. Come on. That color is a frequency. So that color of blue is usually connected to the frequency and the information that is connected to communication. That color purple is connected to the energy of wisdom. This is why they use color psychology. Color psychology. Psychology deals with the brain. Remember, your pineal gland is connected into your brain and your brain is what is able to take those information and give you the downloads. Color psychology. And you have to understand that society is using these color psychologies also to manipulate you. So when you think about these crystals and you think about these sound bowls and you think about these frequencies, come on. So that's why I always tell people, how could you not believe in crystals, but you're the same person to be like, oh, I want to go on a hike and get grounded. Do you understand that the things that you are hiking on are crystals? Do you understand that your brain, your pineal gland literally has calcite crystals on it? The crystals is what allows it to receive energy and frequencies that then turns into information. Where's my book at? Because I want to show them what I've been. Where's where my book at? Dang. Where's my book at, man? I don't even think. Because I really want to show them what I've been reading. I don't know where it's at. You know the book I'm talking about with the color wheel? Oh, and did I leave it in the car? You know what I'm saying? So y'all got to understand that all this stuff is backed by science. All these natural phenomenons that y'all think, oh my God, this is... This is magical. It is magical, but it's all backed by science. Mm -hmm. No, it's not in there. I just looked in there. I'm trying to look for the book because I've been really like, let me tell y'all something, man. Like, I learned something yesterday. Oh, here it is. Look. This is 
is a old book. This is an old book. Somebody says science isn't real. Science is just the studies of spirituality. This book. This book literally talks about how cloning is real. Did y'all know that? The way that they clone people is through the chromosomes. Because your chromosomes carries enough information. Your chromosomes in your body, your DNA, your chromosomes in your body carries enough information to literally create a whole copy of you. Like, you can't say, oh, I'm making stuff up. You can't say I'm making stuff up. This is backed by science. I just told you the exact DNA that they get it from. Anyway.